The light is fading here. I just got home from work a little bit ago. Uh, this is the first plant that I got into my aeroponic system. I used some uh, spring water and uh, took and washed all the dirt off the roots as best I possibly could. Got that put into place. Uh, this tomato plant right here is actually going to be planted in dirt and uh, that's going to be my control so I can compare the two of them together to see if everything's uh, operating as it should be or if things need tweaked. And uh, as you can see on the bottom here, uh, just over the pipe, I didn't have a filming on this upgrade. Ooh, just fuzzed that on me. And if you can see here uh, at the base of this, uh, both of these actually, I actually have uh, a PVC pipe. I cut a little ring over it, it's three inches, and then I found this uh, plumber's putty, which is NSF approved, and I use that to attach to the top of it. So I have a nice little surface for the net pots to sit into. And uh, we're gonna get this buddy uh, planted into dirt here tonight. This is day three of my transplant process. Last night I got this bad boy put into the planter's bin here. And as you can see, this one has the wilting on the sides as well, like the one that I had stuck into the aeroponics, but this one looked a little bit healthier, so I wanted this to be my control. So if something happens, I can take a snippet off of this, hopefully grow some new roots, and then start again. Or I also have a test bed, so that way, if something's going wrong with the aeroponics, the plant dies, whatever the case may be, I can use the snippet from here, grow some new roots, and not be skunked completely on the season. This is new waters for me. I just found it pretty much fascinating, so we'll see what happens on that. Over here, I'm in the process of getting all the dirt off the roots. So this little bad boy right here is going to be my jalapeno plant. I believe it's called Mucho Nacho. Uh, it's like a large jalapeno pepper. Pretty happy about that. I like to make my own salsas, so that'll be pretty good. You want to take off the container of that and then sort of roll the roots and then shake off as much of the ambient dirt that you possibly can, otherwise you go through a lot of water. I'm letting that soak in there right now to get some of the larger particulates off so it doesn't clog up my filter. 